welcome back. Today I'd like to look at section 3.4, the product and quotient rules. And we want to start with number nine. And on number nine, we want to find the derivative of the function f of t is equal to t to the fifth e to the t. All right, so um, to take the derivative of a function like t to the fifth e to the t, you'll notice it's two functions that are multiplied together, or in other words, it's the product of two functions. So we need to use what's called the product rule to take this derivative. And let's just have a quick reminder of what the product rule says. The product rule says that if I have something like f times g is my function, uh, and let's say that that's equal to h, then the derivative of h is equal to f times g prime plus f prime times g. So we take the derivative of the second one, leaving the first alone. Then we add on taking the derivative of the first one, leaving the second one alone. OK, now that we know this, uh, let's go back over here and actually take that derivative. Uh, so we have f prime of t. So over here, what we're told is we should leave the first function alone. So we have two functions here, one function, two functions. I'll call this one f, and I'll call this one g. So what I need if I'm taking the derivative is I want to leave the first function alone, so t to the fifth. And then I want to multiply the first function by the derivative of the second function, g. So what's the derivative of g? Well, g is e to the t, and the derivative of e to the t is e to the t. Plus, then my derivative formula says I need to take the derivative of the first function and then multiply that by the second function. The derivative of the first function, the derivative of f, is 5t to the fourth, 5t to the fourth. And then I want to multiply that by g left alone. g left alone is e to the t, e to the t. So the derivative of t to the fifth e to the t is t to the fifth e to the t uh, plus 5t to the fourth times e to the t.